thunderstorm. All right, the main radio broadcast is going to end in five minutes, but I know i got loaded phones, and I've got to stop doing this, but uh, internet only, prisonplanet.tv, infowars.com streams, I'm going into the next hour, because EPA on alert as fires reach 50 feet from Los Alamos nuke plant, Environmental Protection Agency cannot be trusted to provide accurate information about health threats. Paul Joseph Watson at PrisonPlanet.com. The wildfire that threatens to consume the Los Alamos nuclear lab in New Mexico is now approaching the perimeter of the facility with the Environmental Protection Agency on radiation alert with the deadly consequences of 20,000 barrels of nuclear waste going up in flames. Yes, you heard me, but don't worry. They've already raised the level they say is safe. So don't be a conspiracy theorist. They say that many isotopes can be thousands of times higher than previously thought. Don't think for yourself that is conspiracy theory. Everything is fine, just like the TSA workers getting cancer in mass and the government cover-up from working around the body scanners. Do what you're told. Government's going to take care of you now. Government loves you. Having been miles away from the nuclear lab yes, just yesterday, the fires have now reached to within 50 feet of the facility with officials, not servants, officials fearing a major calamity. Oh, that's what the government's now saying. Because the nuclear waste is not securely contained in a concrete structure, but is unbelievably stored. In a sort of, this is a quote, in a sort of fabric type building that a fire could easily consume, according to former top security official Glenn Walp. The concern is that these drums will get so hot that they will burst. Well, don't worry, it's good for you, just like DU for the troops. This would put the toxic material into the plume. Oh, it's a concern for everybody, said Joey Arens, executive director of the Concerned Citizens for Nuclear Safety. Well, don't listen to them. They're citizens. They're, they're enemies. The EPA has responded by bringing in air monitors along with a special airplane that checks for radiation, relay, uh, reports ABC News. The 95-square-mile fire has turned the city of Los Angeles Alamos into a ghost town with 12,000 residents evacuating yesterday or two days ago, Monday. The Environmental Protection Agency's trustworthiness. Oh, don't. Not trusting is conspiracy. Dunging must not even know. The EPA's trustworthiness on reassuring Americans that there is no danger from radiation released into the atmosphere is likely to be somewhat lessened by what happened following the Fukushima disaster earlier this year. As the Fukushima radiation plume took just days to arrive in the United States, instead of advising Americans to take weaker forms of potassium iodide to build up their immunity to certain types of radioactivity. The EPA simply increased the allowable levels of radioactive isotope iodine-131. Ah, I'm afraid it's quite good for you. <laughs> By many thousands of times, <clears throat> despite the fact that within just two weeks of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami, and we'll put this article up on screen for folks so they can read it at prisonplanet.com if they're watching on prisonplanet.tv. The EPA simply increased the allowable levels of radioactive isotope iodine-131 by many thousands of times, despite the fact that within just two weeks of the Japanese earthquake and tsunami, the crippled nuclear plant, the amount of radiation released from Fukushima already rivaled that of Chernobyl, the worst nuclear disaster up until that point. Within weeks of Fukushima crisis, levels of radioactive iodine-131 were found in rainwater in California, Idaho, Minnesota, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.